Hey everybody, today is April 9th, 2013. This is definitely a WTF article. Southern California Edison wants permission to restart a damaged, you heard me right, damaged nuclear power plant. Nuke plant seeks role change in an effort to restart an idle reactor. Operators at the San Ofri Nuclear Generating Station have requested an amendment to rules for running the plant. This is a nuclear power plant. Southern California Edison announced Monday the submission of a license amendment request to federal nuclear safety regulators seeking temporary authorization to restart the San Onofre Unit 2 reactor at 70% power. Edison said it wants to restart one of the two damaged reactors by June 1st to offset peak summer demand for electricity as hot weather drives up energy use for air conditioning. The Rosemead-based utility company and industry consultants contended that operating the plant at lower power should dampen destructive vibrations among tubes within recently replaced steam generators. Should dampen destructive vibrations. Okay. Nuclear safety activists contend restarting the plant amounts to a risky experiment that will be billed to worry or unwilling utility customers. Steam generators at San Onofre were replaced in 2010 and in 2011 in an estimated final cost to customers of $768.5 million. The equipment was supposed to endure for decades, but the plant was shut down in January 2012 after a small radiation leak and the discovery of rapid degradation among generator tubes carrying radioactive water. Provisions of San Onofre operating license require the plant be safe to operate over a full range of operating conditions, including full power. That's because it's on a highly active earthquake zone, for one. Edison proposed amendment would provide a caveat effectively reducing full power to 70% power for the length of a refueling cycle that originally lasts less than two years. Nuclear safety advocates have been seeking a license amendment from Edison that might open the way for public hearings and greater scrutiny. I guess they've been having secret closed door hearings about this. Friends of the Earth, the group petitioning for a lengthier vetting before restarting, said in a statement that the amendment submitted by Edison on Friday would circumvent public participation and divert attention from unresolved safety issues. San Onofre Unit 3 reactor, where the leak developed last year, is offline indefinitely, with more extensive damage. The plant's original Unit 1 reactor was retired in 1992. Now, we know we have a safety problem, but we want to restart it. Is that okay? Right. You know, a little, just a little radiation. That's okay, too, isn't it? All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.